ladies. Gentle bitches. What do you, I do kind of know what you're doing here, but do you mind if I, I read you something that I was working on? Just workshopping recently. It's this little script I got. Um, just. <clears throat> our scene starts on a brisk December morning in the year of our Lord, 1989. Interior, hospital room. And not just a room though, a room that is filled with not only anticipation, but love and support. Andrea Swift, young mother, is in labor. Surrounded by her supportive husband, Scott, and medical staff. The clock reads 5 16 a.m. It's been a long night. Andrea Swift, gritting her teeth, grabs Scott and pulls him in to say, Are we ready for it? And in that moment, a sound wave bursts through the halls of Reading Hospital, smashing doors, shattering windows, and a single baby's cry is heard. Be sharp, perfect pitch. She's gorgeous, and the couple rejoices. But our story does not stop there. 200 miles, that shockwave is still headed down the road, billowing down the highway into a young boy's window. The boy jerks up from his seat, yelling, eh, the guy. Scooter, nine years old. I think I'm okay. It was just the wind. But that wind, I fear. One day, we'll blow again. This is blank. I'm lying to you. I had ChatGPT write that, all of it. I'm a fraud. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentle bitches, today we're diving into 1989, the original version for research purposes, when we inevitably listen to Taylor's version all together on stream on the 27th. It is her fifth studio album and iconically her initial dive into the pure pop Genre. It's a genre. Dude, whenever I hear this album be brought up, I soon see the words pop Bible right afterwards. So today, I will be deciding if this album truly is the pop Bible. I do have a little bit of experience with pop Bibles. We listened to Teenage Dream a few weeks ago, my buddy Bobby and I out on the channel. Want to go check that out. And of course, it's produced by the legends Max Martin and Shellback. We also got Ali Payami in there, a duo called Matt Man and Robin. Cute. Of course, Mr. Jackie Antonoff is in here as well, alongside Nathan Chapman, Noel Zan Canella, and Ryan Tedder from One Republic. Additional producing by Greg Kirsten. Very cool. All right. We are listening to 16 songs off the deluxe album, not including the voice memos, clocking in at exactly an hour. Wow. The first track on the album is Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. I'm fucking walking here. I have heard the chorus of this song, so I guess we'll see how the verses are. Okay. Starting off with some a Moog bass and drums. Oh, look at that. She's leading in with the synths. She's like, I've changed. It's a new era. Kaleidoscope. Everybody here wanted something more. She's already on it, baby. Oh shit, did just right there. Ooh. Oh, I love her vocals just with the bass. Oh my god, I'm getting gooseys, dude. What the hell? Oh my god, man, shit, I'm dancing. Look at me. Oh, she's got shades on, baby. Let them shine. Everybody here was someone else before. Oh. Who you want, who you want. Boys and boys and girls and girls. Oh, my God. We're winning. It's a new soundtrack. I could dance to this beat. Forevermore. The lights are so bright, but they never blind me. Me. Dude, this is so fun. Bridge? It keeps you guessing like any real love. It's ever changing. Oh, the city. I can't hold and change anything, anything, anything. Oh my god. Welcome to ah! New York. Ah! 
Love this kick. It just keeps on going. Dude, oh my god. What a, what a great introduction track. It's like you're literally moving into the city with her for the first time. Oh my gosh. Our country girl. She's growing up. For real though, very cool. I love the beat. It's simple. It's right to the point. It's a great introductory track for the album. Feels like you're really starting off strong with a new version of Taylor that she's bringing to the table with this pop sound, dude. Hearing her kind of like do this unapologetically, it just feels kind of nice, man. The next song though, Blank Space. I know exactly what this is going to be. But I'm imagining we just moved into New York City, into a empty apartment. Maybe that apartment is the blank space. <sighs> you know how sometimes you hear a single sound and it just takes you back? Man. To meet you where you and she gets right into it. Oh, and she's a player, baby. Dude, just coming into that chorus with that spoken word classic T Swizzy. It's also kind of crazy how almost every stanza of lyric is able to be like acted through. That's really what is like impressive about Taylor's writing is that in every little stanza, it's more than just like a subject of the sentence. It's like a focus and it brings you into like her vision with it. It's really good writing, bro. So it's gonna be forever. What? Or what? Or Of ex lovers, they'll tell you I'm insane, but I've got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. She could totally be talking about Death Note. You're the drums. Oh no, oh the worst is yet to come and then leading with oh no. God, it's so good. I get drunk on jealousy, but you'll come back oh my God. Time you leave cuz darling I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. So oh dude, I'm worried, bro. I am concerned if she's going to be able to nail the iconicness of these little talking moments, you know? They're so baked into the moment where it's just like ah oh. Hits. There's only one love if it's torture. Don't say I didn't. Oh, the say slide I up. Warn ya. Boys, only oh. one love if it's torture. Don't say I didn't say I didn't warn ya. So it's gonna be forever. Oh. Oh, I love that. With a nasty scar. Oh my god. I've got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. <laughs> I love that it's also just her kind of like clapping back at like people talking about how she's like a serial dater and all that shit. Can you blame somebody for just wanting to try to find love, you know? I wish I could say it was so 2014, but the obsession is still here. People are still obsessed with who she's dating. Anyways, uh, next song is Style. I still like Style. I covered Style back in the day. Kind of ate that shit too. Oh, that chug a lugging bass line. Where we at? Oh shit. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, dude. The vocal crack on the. It's really good. Pre chorus. Oh, the mix. The singing and the spoken word. What's he got? You got that dream, dream, day, dream. Look in your eye, and I got that red lip, classic thing that you like. And where we go? We never 
Virgo. That better be all he's doing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! See, the O wasn't as good. Oh! It's not that. As a man, I hear tight little skirt and I'm like, send it! Oh, the octave. I think that's a perfect song, dude. It's obviously about a tumultuous relationship, but dude, you can't not vibe and you can't not jam and you can't not root for it. It's just, it's so difficult to just not enjoy the song. <laughs> Moving on into the next song. Out of the Woods, okay. I think I've heard the chorus of this one, but everything else is kind of a mystery. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, the production. That vocal. Whoa. Whoa, this is this is big. Mmm. Twenty hindsight is twenty twenty. Whoa, screaming color? Oh, there we go. Chord change. Uh, Woo! Whoa, the kick. Oh, a little bit of necklace. To move the furniture so we can dance, baby, like we stood a chance. To paper airplanes flying, flying, flying. And I remember thinking, Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear yet? Out of the woods. Remember when you hit the brakes too soon? Twenty stitches in the hospital room. Oh shit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, Taylor, come on. Ooh. Dude, the vocal layering in this, in this outro. Dude, honestly, kind of insane for a chorus that is like this repetitive to really not like harbor any bad feelings in my ear, like usually super repetitive choruses do. I feel like it's because it's framed as a question and we kind of see this relationship through the lyrics as well. And it's it's talking about how does she feel safe yet? Does she feel like she can be out of the woods? I like that. Oh, it says here on Genius that she was writing to the track on this one. So that means it was produced first and then she just laid vocals on top of it. Interesting. That must have been kind of a challenge for her because I know that she started off with like kind of like the guitar type, you know, focus songwriting, but now she's kind of getting more comfortable being given a beat and just kind of going off on that. That's really cool. I think she nails it. All right. And now we get into the first song that I'm not familiar with. All you had to do was stay. Okay. We get a little saw wave synth with vocals. People like you always want back the love they gave away and people like me want to believe you. Ooh. 
and like the production. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa. Oh, I love that vocal pitched up. Oh, and she keeps it on her own vocals for the very last day. That's so tight. I kind of do love how she's keeping the verse with kind of the clapping and the small percussive elements. It still kind of feels acoustic in a way, right? But then you get this huge chord. Oh my God, y'all were right. Y'all were right. I'm gonna like this album a lot. Oh, that bass. Oh. Oh wow, she's in two. Oh, this is what you wanted. All right, yeah. Listen to this filter. Oh, taking these dynamic moments. Oh, that little drum fill, too. Dude, these songs are flying by, too. Oh, my gosh. They're not, like, super duper long by any means, but they just hit all of the huge dynamic moments that pop music is so iconic for. Dude, this was, like, kind of a lower-key song that I hadn't heard of, and it slaps. The gang vocals, the pitched-up vocal for the chorus, the huge arena-like sound design for it. Yeah, she's on it, bro. All right, well, now we got a fun one. Shaking it off. I will be honest. I will, I will be, will be truthful. I did not like this fucking song for the longest time because the radio just yeah, on this bitch. I can only shake so much off, Taylor. You know what I mean? Let's see how it aged. See, still acoustic drums. She's staying grounded. You know, I don't like the horn. Taylor's perfect. It's the horn. They were doing good with the synths. Lost me on the single horn. It's an anthem, I know. It's an uplifting anthem, right? I'm not moving. You can't make me shake it off, bro. You're not gonna get me shake it off, dude. Not, it's not that catchy, bro. Stop. Why do I know that? Stop. Stop. Shake it off. Shake it off. To the fella over there with the hella good hair Won't you come on over, baby? We can shake, shake, shake That's a hard one, dude. I think she kind of nails it. I have seen live performances, though. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you see what I mean? Next one is, uh, I wish you would. Ooh, is Taylor trying to throw hands? I wish you would. I wish you would. <laughs> yeah, Taylor might fuck me up, dude. Anyways, I wish you would. Okay, the guitar. 
Ooh. A different drum kit. Ooh, the memories start. Ooh. Oh, wish you were right here right now. What? What's a crooked love? Just like something that's just this totally fucked up. Okay. So it goes into this like 3 4, right? For the chorus. Right now, that's good. Well, wait, hold on. If if you wish that they were there right here, right now, is it all good? Are we out of the woods yet? Right here, right now, it's all good. I wish you would. Yeah, I wish you would too, bitch. See, she, she secretly wants him to be there so she can whoop his ass. That's what's really gonna go down. See? Oh, the drums. Whoa! Here we are. All out. See your face, hear my voice in the dark. But it made us turn right back around. I wish you would come back. Wish I never hung up the phone like I did. I wish you knew that. I never forget you as long as I live. And I wish you were right oh, just here the right now. It's all good. I wish you would. I wish you would come back. Wish I never hung up the phone like I did. Hung up the phone like I did. That little sha da 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 Oh, that feels good. Oh, the slide down. Good. Oh, that's fun. All right, this one's pretty fun. I don't think it's gonna end up being one of my favorite tracks off the album, just because I feel like it is kind of this similar motif of like talking about an ex lover that she doesn't really think she's gonna get back together with. I don't know, it's fine. I mean, it's all fun, right? Like all these songs are probably gonna be like fun, right? But how do we differentiate fun from pop Bible? Literal holy text, it can't just be fun. All right, next song is another one that I have heard, but not in a kind of a long time. It's Bad Blood. Cause baby, now we got bad. Oh. And I'm back. I'm back in college, dude. Damn. Hey! Oh. Oh, these big warm scents, though. Ooh, and just the stuttering. In her high register. Let's go! Ooh, and it's a drop. Wow. Oh, dude. Ooh. Dude, this is gonna be really cool to listen with all you guys when the Taylor's version comes out. Because something I've been realizing in the Taylor's versions, they've been utilizing the same instrumentals and, and whatnot, but they've been widening them. So they kind of make a little bit more room for Taylor down the center. <sighs> I want to hear this song with a little bit of room, dude. It's nice. It just feels really mono right now, like straight down the center. Oh, her doing the double vocal an octave away. Oh, just don't. Just don't. Ah, good times, you and I. Wow, what a cool... Oh, that shaker in there now, too? Yeah, because they're dead. That single snare building the tension in there is so 2014! Wait, 
wait. I'm just learning. This was apparently about Katy Perry. No! Not Katy Perry, the same Katy Perry that was literally just in the court for taking away a, a geriatric person's home while they were on drugs, and now there's an entire law based around it with Katy Perry's name in it. No! Why do you guys subscribe? I'm pretty sure they've made up since then, but that's, I didn't know that. I actually did not know that. That's crazy. Go watch the Katy Perry video if you haven't watched that. It's a good time. Jeez. Wildest dreams. Let's go. I have heard this song. I have 100% heard this song, but we're still gonna jam. Oh, the little side chain with the noise. Let's get out of this town. Drive out of the city. Away Dude. Oh, dude, her going up with her vocals, saying this is gonna take me down, the ironic pen game, oh, so good. Yes, 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 I hope his fingers are clean. I hope his fingernails are clean, girl, for you. Nothing lasts forever. But this is getting good now. He's so tall and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. How bad is he? How bad? She's entangled. Someday when you leave me, I bet these memories follow you around. Oh my god. Sparkles. Standing floating. It's a nice dress. It's a very nice dress, Taylor. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretz and say you Dude, just taking that little two bar moment. You do not have to play by the rules. Every eight bars does not have to be something different. It can just be a, a moment to live in. God, it just lets that chorus hit so much harder, bro. Ooh. Oh, and the strings get in there. Yeah, I mean, dude, that's kind of pop perfection, bro. The kick pattern, the snare, the moments of just floating through these beautiful instrumentals with Taylor's vocals just leading you into a, a, a heavenly fantasy dream. That song is so good. I just can't get over it. The production, the reverbs, the synths, the little twinklies, everything. It just fits the aesthetic kind of flawlessly. But alas, moving on into the back half of this album that I know no songs. I don't know any of these guys. First one is how you get the girl. Okay, we're talking about getting girls now. Everybody interested in boys? Mute, mute right now. I'm about to drop some knowledge, dude. I will wait. Everybody who's not interested will leave. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, pressure. God. Um, literally just gaslighter. Uh, uh, uh. When you stub your toe. Relatable, Taylor. God. Stand there like a ghost. Ooh, okay, an acoustic guitar. I don't know if how I feel about the strumming pattern. Dude, okay. It's fun. I think it's 
I don't know. It feels a little bit like old Taylor with the acoustic. I like the chorus because you get those kind of cool little pop moment stops. It's just like a bang, bang, oh, bang, bang. But I don't know. I don't know. The repeated last line, cheek, cheeks, girl, girl, rain, rain, I'm not in love with. For Taylor, for Taylor, it's a little lazy. And that's how it works. That's how you lost the girl. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were getting her. Yeah, that's the best part right there. Remind me how it you Yeah. It's a little paint by numbers for me. To be to be on the iconic pop album. It's cute though. Dude, that. Oh wow. Okay. That's how you got the girl. Uh oh, uh oh. The uh oh, uh oh, uh oh is obviously iconic, you know, like in pop music. But I feel like at this stage of 2014, having the uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh it might have felt a little played out. I mean, dude, every single song on the radio at that point had a post chorus that had O's in it. This one's all right. I don't think this one's like super fave of mine. The next song is This Love. This love has taken a grown up me. What if it was just a cover? I always say that, and it's never a cover. Well, why do you think like this? Haven't you had enough disappointment in your life just constantly wanting to have a cover in a major album? What's wrong with you? Whoa. Reverses? We're getting reverses? And acoustic? It's a sparkly acoustic, too. It feels like a DI. Oh, yeah, it's DI. Damn, why couldn't you just mic the acoustic, bro? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Clear blue water. Whoa. Oh. I know it. Why do I know it? To me. Oh, oh. Wait, what is going on? Oh. See the O's coming back? This is nice though. Oh, the bass. I'm sorry. Why is this acoustic one hitting so much better than the other acoustic? Maybe it's because it's like being enhanced by the acoustic and not just like a strumming pattern. I don't know. Oh, with someone new. Bad oh a light back from the dead oh oh my god whoa this love came back to you oh oh wow I love that oh my god that's incredible oh my god Oh, bringing it back from running to going back to what you need. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I love that part. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was great! I love the chorus being just her saying, this love is blank, this love is blank, this love is blank, because love is like that. Love is a lot of different things, and when you lose that love from somebody, it's kind of like that moment where it's like, you don't know what you had till it's gone. At least that's what I get from this. I'm sure you guys will clarify. This one blew me away. This is like the iconic pop tailor that I know and love. Moving on into the next one, I Know Places. Why does that piano sound like Linkin Park? I, I, 
Dude, the vocal chops, I think, are probably one of the funnier parts about this album. It's just so 2014. <laughs> hey, Taylor, could you help me on my homework? What comes after H again? Thank you, Taylor. Ooh. Why does this kind of sound like it should be on Reputation? Oh, same producers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's kind of feeding into this like mysterious, you know, hey, they were hunters and we're the foxes. She's on her archer shit again. I guess I'm on mine. How cool would it have been if they had a super fast pace, like the UK garage type beat in this part? Like, listen. Could be cool. Woo. I think one thing that is kind of happening inside my brain right now is I'm seeing the similarities between all of the approaches for these choruses. It feels like she goes up into her register every single chorus and she's kind of like down low for the verses. I just see like kind of like a similarity in that and, and, and something about it kind of takes me out. Ooh, just the drums? Uh. Green eyes? Harry Styles eyes so green? Yeah, that one was, eh, I don't know, kind of rough. I don't really know about that one, dude. Other than the Harry Styles reference. Damn it, I'm a slut for that man. All right, this is the last track on the original album. It is titled Clean, and it is produced by Emma Jean Heap and Taylor Swift. Tight. Oh, what is that percussion? The drought was the very worst. Uh, uh. When the flowers that we'd grown together died of thirst. Oh my God. Oh. It lost the war and the sky turned black like a perfect. Oh my God, I hear those harmonies. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, going out in the rain. Oh wow, dude, that's so cool. God, she is such a good writer. Oh, not the butterflies. Oh. Oh, the back and forth with his pre. Oh. See, I know it, dude. That's how you know it's good. Ah, uh, second chorus, you're 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 hooked. Oh. Dude, I love all of this subtle production too. Just letting Taylor kind of be in the front. Oh, that was Emma Jean. Oh, Emma Jean, I know it. I know your vocals when I hear them. Oh, wow, 
Oh, dude, another fantastic song. Oh, my God. And that was the last one on the original, like the non-deluxe album. Oh. So good. Love all the metaphors, love the feeling of that instrumental as well, because it doesn't have any like super strong chords through it. It's just that bass line that kind of lets Taylor prioritize her melodies on top of everything. Yeah, clean is incredible. All right, moving into the next one though, Wonderland. I feel the ear fatigue setting in. Let's hope these last three are fucking stellar. I love the use of high frequency synths too. Oh my God, now we're falling down rabbit holes? Dude, oh my God, we got a Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh! Didn't they tell us to rush into things? Didn't you flash your green eyes at me? Ooh. Haven't you heard what becomes of curious minds? Okay, tell me. Ah. Ah, love. Ooh. Oh my god, I love that snare. <laughs> She's singing Wonderland with her whole chest. Uh, the eh eh ehs. I don't know, am I being the fun police now? I don't know. The ehs are fine. Dude, just super subtle verses with like enormous choruses. <laughs> Bridge. Oh my god, that wubby bass? The dubstep bass in the back? She's leaning in so much into the vocal crack. Like when she goes and she hits her high notes. I... It gets slightly uh, old. It's kind of a bop. It's like a deluxe album bop. It's fun, it's boppy. Honestly though, I would love to hear this song in the rendition of Folklore or Evermore because I feel like it still fits into that kind of Wonderland fantasy world where like the songs aren't always about her per se. I just think it'd be kind of cool. The next one is You Are In Love. I am in love. I've been in love, baby. Ah, ah, I'm full of it. I'm, I'm full of love, baby. Ooh. An 80s synth texture? Ooh, it feels subtle. I like it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I want to learn that on piano. One look, dark room, meant just for you. Time moved too fast. You play it back. Ooh. Buttons on a cold. See, I like the delivery. Joke. Oh. No proof, not much. You saw enough small talk. He drives coffee at midnight. The midnight light. again. Silence. You Ooh. Oh, that'd have been cool if she had silence and then just nothing. That's still cool though. This is really pretty. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I like that synth. On sidewalks, you fight, then you talk. One night, he wakes, strange look on his face, pauses, then says, you're my best friend, and you knew what you were. Sorry, that shit took me the f*** out. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Keeps a picture of you in his office downtown. And you understand Cute. now why they lost their minds and fought the wars. Told you. I am in love. <laughs> you can hear it in the silence. Oh, 
she did it. You can feel it on the way home. Oh, she let it be silent. Oh, she's good. She's good. You can see it with the oh. lights out. True love. You're in love. Oh yeah, and those little backing harmonies now. Dude, this is a lot more subtle of a production. You can see it with the lights out. Did Jack do this one? He did. Nice. What a fantastic song. The little twist at the end, and then kind of resolving in this whole you are in love moment still. God, it's good, man. It's good. All right, man. We've made it to the last song. New Romantics. Don't y'all love this song? Oh, shit. Oh, I might love it too. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. We're all bored. Oh! oh. Oh! Trains that just aren't coming. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the vocals. No, no, my, no, mine is. Oh, my God! Oh, how do I know it again? Oh my god, I'm dancing. Maybe with a new romantic. The best people in life are free. Oh my god. Dude, this is fire. We hang back. I love that first little the timing. It's poker. Oh, and then the the set this the different vocals. Oh my god, I'm getting back up. Sides like a record changer. The rumors are terrible and cruel, but honey, most of them are true. Most of them are true. Baby, I can feel the castle. Baby, you're the new romantics. Come along with me. Drink is a national anthem. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is iconic. This is iconic. Life for free. Oh my god, come a come along with me, dude. Shut up! Please take my hand and please take me dancing. Oh, we're about to Oh, we're about to shimmy, girl. Wow. Wow. So in the beginning of this video, we talked about if this album should be considered a pop Bible. As of right now, it's looking like it, dude. I mean, even the songs that I'm like not super in love with still echo this like incredibly iconic pop energy that just kind of radiates out from this year in pop. I mean, Taylor wasn't the only one kind of changing the face of pop at this time. A lot of other people were too, but you know, she's one of the biggest ringers, bro. And I just, I see the hype. Wow. How many Taylor albums have we done so far? Folklore, Evermore, Rep, Midnight, Red, and now 1989. That's six albums. So I'm not going to do Taylor for a long time. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're about to listen to Taylor's version in like, what, a week, less than a week, something like that. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how these songs change and how the vault tracks gear up. We're going to be doing the vault tracks first on Twitch, by the way. Follow me on all my socials to be notified whenever I go live for that stream. Hopefully you all will tune in. I'd love to see you there. But that's going to be a wrap for me, folks. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hope you stay happy, healthy, and strong, and I'll see you in the next one.